Hey, guess what, camera people? Millennials. I got another school bus. Come on, let's go check it out. Because it's school bus season. That bus project didn't go in anywhere fast. I got us another one. I don't, I don't know if we need that problem, but now, now we got it. This one's cool, man. This one is pretty cool. What's going How on? How you doing, man? Richard? Been a long time. It's been a while. So uh, this is what you sent me pictures of yesterday. Yes, sir. Check this out, man. 55, shorty short, Weatherford, Texas. Really? This is from Weatherford? Yeah, and it's not rusty, dude. Looks like it had a little dent up here at one point. Hell, that might have been factory. Who knows? Yeah, because back in the day, they did all this by hand. Freaking wicked cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Carpenter. Carpenter bus. Those used to be real popular. I like it. All right, well, do we unload it? or No what motor, no trans? Yeah, no motor, no tranny. But it's all there. Other than that. What are you gonna do with it? Well, I gotta get it bought first. This guy's trying to hammer me for 10 grand, which I think is too much. Oh so, boy. five grand? A little bit more than that. Come on, man. It's an old rusty school bus. I know it, but man, you ain't gonna find another two, two window shorty like this. I knew you were gonna say that, so I had to have me pull out 7,500 bucks. Will that do it? I'll take 7,500. Ooh. Cash money from you, go, only you. There you go. Thank you, Richard. I Chase, appreciate let's get it, this buddy. Thing down. Okay. Now, as far as what I'm going to do with it, because I wanted to get it bought first, this is going to be a bar at uh, my new restaurant. Oh, that's like, pretty uh, cool. Out, out in the green space area, because we've got a lot of green space, and girls can stand inside. We'll, you know, put a bar across here. Right. When it's down on the ground, it'll be the right height, and uh, have me some girls in bikinis slinging some drinks. And well, you know, got to be fair this, this, you know, these days. So if a guy wants to wear a bikini and sling drinks, then sure, what the hell? <laughs> All right, I'm going to get it unloaded before that goes anywhere else. Well, I'm just glad we're not building that one like we're building this one because we haven't even finished that one yet. But I'm glad that that thing's not yellow either. So before all you keyboard whippers out there in your mom's basement start tacking away, like where's the other bus you built? Why aren't you building that bus? Why haven't you finished it? And all the other stupid shit that we get on the old interwebs from you people. We've got the C's problem, COVID, corporate America, all that kind of stuff going on the Canes bus. They've got to make some decisions. We're trying to get some parts in. Warehouses are not stocked. All kinds of things are delaying that project. And I apologize that it's not done so fast and furious as you're used to seeing on the old Fast and Loud show when you would see the car get built in one hour that still also took you know many days or weeks to get built. So the magic of television is exactly that, a lie. This is real time, it's happening. We're trying to get it done. But this bus here, one of my car finder buddies found it and uh, sent me some pictures yesterday and I'm pretty stoked on it because uh, we're building the brand new uh, flagship Gas Monkey Bar and uh, this is going to be the outdoor bar. Imagine some uh, good looking ladies standing in there serving you up some cold ice beer. Woo, it's gonna be fun. getting unloaded uh, off the trailer, was watching the look of disgust on Daphne's face out the glass uh, windows there because she always looks out to see what I bought and then she immediately, uh, I can tell that she's pissed off, disgusted, I'm spending cash that I don't need to spend, but she doesn't understand the beauty of what I bought here. See, we've got a lot of cool parts here that can be used for uh, decoration. Got a killer hood, uh, we've got the whole passenger side 
of this uh, car is actually perfect. We're gonna pull that off. Again, this is an art project that's gonna go inside the new Gas Monkey Bar that we're building right now. So we're getting some cool things going on between uh, this and a few other tricks up my sleeve. Gas Monkey will be open and we are going to party. Work, whatever that is. What do what we, I do anymore? I don't know. What do you do? I work my rear off, dude. I got so many initiatives happening right now, I can't even keep up. Well, it's better to have forks in the fire as long as the fire is stoking. Yeah, but in order to have a fire, you gotta have some wood. Now, this is a what? This is a 964 convertible. This is a 91 Carrera, same exact car as uh, David Duchovny had in uh, Californication, okay. which is one of my all-time favorite shows. If you haven't seen that, you need to go watch it. Well, you and that character did have a lot in common back in the day. That dude was living my life, except yep. for he was a writer and I'd flip cars. Yeah, but I was definitely screwing up my life. Yeah, they, they, they flipped the script a little bit, but it's the same story. <laughs> Hell, this car was 41000 bucks, dude. Five years ago, it was probably fifteen. Wow. Not made for big guys. What's what? up, Porsche dude? Hey, what's happening, uh, Mr. Hey. Richard? What's going on, man? Hey, how are you? I've been good, I've been good. Man, there's um, more in here than meets the eye. Yeah, I always got stuff coming in and out. It's, uh, is this know, a turbo? No, this is a uh, this is an '86. Uh, it's an '86 coupe, but it has the optional seven and eight inch wheels, which are wider wheels, and it has the uh, the uh, the whale tail on it. Yeah. But th those that was an original option for the uh, for the time, and it, although it looks like a turbo, it, it actually isn't. It's an original '86, and actually this one here is the same thing, except it doesn't have the uh, the wing on it, so it's a uh, they call it just a, a slick back, normal Carrera coupe. What are so, these things worth now? Well, actually, these cars, uh, the 3.2 Carreras, which is from 84 through 89, they're just on fire right now. And especially the coupe. You know, you want a coupe. And these cars were uh, probably thirty, forty thousand dollars uh, two years ago, and now they're, you know, anywhere between sixty to ninety thousand. And if you have top-notch examples, you'll they were over a hundred thousand. So. Well, didn't they just sell some kind of uh, the bad boys car for like 1.3 million or something? What yeah. is that? That's so a turbo, right? That is a turbo, and that one was so that's a 964 turbo, and that's a nine. I think that one was a 93 or 94, and that market. I mean, you think the 3.2 Carrera is on fire? Those turbos from the uh, early 90s and mid 90s are through the roof so i gotta start yeah. watching porsches i mean i get them sent <laughs> to me all the time online but i yeah. just never really know a whole oh, lot it's about huge. them it's uh i always compare it to like rolexes you know every there's so much desire and want for early you know air-cooled 911s and vintage porsches in general well i've had a bunch of you know 67 8 9 911s because i yeah. i understand that market but I don't understand the newer market, you know, getting into the 80s and And that's 90s. exactly, and you just identified exactly what's hot. So this stuff from the 60s and early 70s, they had their time. They actually went up in value around, they peaked around 2014 and 15, and they've stayed around the same. Yeah. But what's really on fire are all the stuff from the 80s and 90s, because that generation now has money and people want them now. So the growth is right there at the moment, and uh, yeah. They're just... Uh, That's rad. Yeah, it's... Uh, well, we just took my uh, 964 to lunch. Yeah. So this is like the risky business. Risky business color. So uh, that car just went for a record number two. Because What did that car sell for? Uh, a million something? Two Act million something. Two million dollars. Is that because Tom Cruise was sitting in that one and Will Smith was sitting in that one that brought that back? Yes, money? yes. Had to have been. Now, but there's this whole... This whole uh, uh, going back to this uh, uh, to these movies, uh, it, it's uh, you know the, of course the Tom Cruise movie you know made made it really famous, but you know the 928s really these cars were more expensive than a 911 when they were sold new, 
This and was. They yes, were. yes, they were. It wasn't that long ago. You could get these for like five thousand dollars. Oh, nobody I know. I've had people them. offer me these dilapidated for nothing. Yeah, I know. Nothing. They didn't. Nobody wanted them. So here is the secret about the 928s. They're on the rise, big time right now. But you have to find the right one. And what is the right one? You want an early one, yeah. an all original. How long did and, they? And a manual. How long did they make these? They made these from 1978 through 1995. So what you're saying that is a long? 78 manual that car long. would be... That, that's you're going to be your ideal 928 or a late model from 93 to 95. And they're very rare. And those go for big money right now. And they're on fire at the moment. So, uh, and again, a lot of these cars were just, you know, left in fields. No one cared about them. So to find an original example that's original paint you know, low mileage, never tampered with, is gonna be the one you want. And so... Uh, I feel like you're beefing me up for something there. So what's the difference between that one and this one? Uh, well, <laughs> that's a good question, Richard. So the big difference is this one I'm keeping because this is, uh, going, this is part of my personal collection. I just bought this one not long ago from the... What? Look at this interior. This interior is called That's Pasha. It's so psychedelic. It's psychedelic. It's checkers that are small, large. It just it makes wow. you, you know, go Drug dizzy. Yeah. That is This car, wacky. Richard, is 100% original. The Did interior, you buy it from the original owner? I bought it from the original lady that bought it brand new in Colorado. I mean, this car. Hey, don't mess with, the, with that. Yeah, no, so. Oh, sorry. Did so I just actually, mess with your patina? Oh, no, it's fine. Actually, so. It's going to buff out. So, man. what you're looking at here is oxidation. This, this is car, this will buff out. I know that. This is 100% sure. original paint. It's been Listen pain metered. Listen to that door. Solid. That is, is, you know, you only get that with an original paint car, low mileage, and you'll have typical. German quality. Thud. Yep. So here, this is a, it's a really rare color. It's a rare interior color. And the, uh, the miles are only 62,000 original miles. That is an odd, an odd mark that did not hit the hood. Okay, so that's the one issue on the body with this car. So the lady, her garage door fell on it when the hood was open. Oh. So I know, I, it, it kills me to to, you know, that this uh, we've got a We've got a new product over there that can fix that. Well, but you don't want to paint it. You don't I mean, want to paint it. fix it and just you leave know, it. First, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... I haven't even washed the car yet. It's still the way it was found. I mean, this is a true time capsule. Wait a minute, so but this is a one owner old the lady car? Yes, yes this the is exactly it. Wow. The interior's perfect, but uh, it's it's got the cracked dash. Yeah, Where you are know, you gonna find that? Does anybody repo? Well, the good thing is uh, to buy a used parts 928 is like two grand. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can buy a used yeah, car. You can buy a whole, buy car, a whole for car for like two grand. Car. Yeah, so, uh, so right, anyways, Don't tease me with something that's in no, private yeah, collection. I don't, yeah, this, What's this, up with this uh, thing? So this here is kind of odd because, you know, I'm the 911 guy. And, uh, and so I, I got this, you know, last year I, I had an E-Type V12. And I had this whole V12. V12. This monster is a V12. Oh, she's it's a, sexy. It's a 12,000 mile XJ12, 12, 12 cylinder. All you know, original paint? All original paint. Survivor. Paint meter, Complete absolute survivor. original. So will you sell be. this? This one's also part of my little personal collection. I mean, I, I bought the it a year ago. The personal collection is you get rid of some and you get some Yeah, more. but I will be honest. I've driven this car two times around the block in, in, in a year. So I, I really... Uh, I love one owner just... No, I know. Smell cars. that interior. I'll open the door and just that leather. That, just smell it. Oh, man. That's... Uh, you it don't get like that. smells like old lady farts. <laughs> Well, oh. you don't get that old lady fart smell with a new reupholstered re oh, interior. And, this is pretty you know, cool, man. Yeah, this How is, much is this car? Well, these are pretty reasonable compared to the Porsche world because, you know, Jaguars, they're still, they're still pretty, they're pretty cheap. So. Let me guess, like probably 12.5. No. Because a crappy one's going to be 7,500 or six. Right. But you're looking at probably the, mo the lowest mileage XJ12 in the country. Pop the hood, I gotta and, see this. Piece. All right, I'll, I'll show you that. It's the got hood. a little dent over here. Yeah, yeah you the know, there's, there's a little... It's on, it's on all right, side. let's see here. Watch out, so this, is a, this is a monster oh, 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 of an oh. engine. Wow, AC, yeah, mm -hmm. I get it. But it's Jaguar, that's, doesn't everybody say stock. that these are like, once they break, it's like, 
they are always broken? Well, the good thing is, is that uh, there are JAG guys out here that uh, <laughs> they can work on them. And, well, yeah, uh, there's a JAG dude right down there. Th right that's right. exactly right. So uh, I was always, you know, when I got the car, it had old fuel in it. And I never, you know, really the whole fuel system needs to be drained. And, uh, but I mean, the thing drives amazing. It's like a cloud on wheels, you know, it's just. All right, so how much would this be? I'll have to have Chase come over and check it out. But I, it, I, I believe everything you say. Uh, I mean, it's really not for sale. I mean, come uh, on, man. Man, Richard, if you're gonna try this for me, that. yeah. But this is my baby, you know. I. The only times we heard that too. Yeah. Well, have have him look at it. I just want to. I, I like it when people appreciate the car. You know, that's for me. Hey, bring me and Sean some uh, beers over here and uh, the golf cart, and uh, come check out a car uh, across that Porsche dude. Okay, sounds good. I'll be there, man. This is rad. Yeah. What happened to the headrest, though? I mean, it's, it looks uh, like somebody munched on it. <laughs> That's, uh, that comes with age, Richard. Uh, you know, uh, after 40 years, at 40-plus uh, years, uh, you know, there's well, little yeah, things. Yeah, the leather's do. still good. The leather's so still good. You can yeah, you can. In it. Yeah, exactly. But this is a long door, right? This is a long wheelbase, yeah. And, uh, you know, this was the last of the uh, this era of uh, Jaguar that was just... Uh, you this know, car very special. screams. It's just art. It's a it, piece of and art. And you know what? This color, this interior, it's so it screams 1976. You right. know, and it you know it, has it, a little it, clock in the middle there, it and it has. Excellent. It doesn't look like the ashtrays ever. Look been, at that. The, the lighter's never that been is used. Brand new lighter. Wow. So, yep, that's what you call an uh, untampered virgin, low mileage Garage example. Kill. It's pretty yeah. rad. Well, yeah, so that's why I bought it. And, you know, for me, even though I haven't driven it much, you know, it at least gives me pleasure to look at it and smell it and uh, just... Uh, you can do that at baby dolls also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <That's, laughs> um, well, let me let Chase look at it, and, and then I might make you a serious offer that's probably close to my 12.5 number. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. Well, let's have him look at it, and we'll... What Check are, it out. What are those hood? Are those uh, deck lids? So these are actually uh, early 911 deck lids, um, and that's a 911 S deck. Lid. Yeah. So this is an E, and that's an S. And what's funny is that they're actually both original paint. So I paint meter this, and uh, you know they're both original and as found. And uh, I, I recently acquired. I had this one for a few years, and then I acquired this one. The thing is here. I do. Hey, the right beer's here. here. Richard, do you have one of these? I've been meaning to buy one. So this is called a, uh, a paint meter. Well, I know what it is. I just don't have one over the shop. So anything below six is going to be original paint. So, uh, hey, look at you. Beer good system. job, man. Hey, check this out. One owner, original paint all the way around, 100% original pretty much everywhere. And he claims uh, 12,000 original miles. Huh. Yep, V12 12. long door, so extended wheelbase. Huh. Yep, it's a uh, it's a time capsule. It's essentially uh, everything you see is all original on it. There's not a single thing that's modified to this car. Two gas tanks. Two yeah. gas tanks. The gas is a little funky. Yeah, the so yeah the. Do fuel you have to is, switch between tanks or do they flow into one? Uh, it shows I, a button if I, I remember. I think right. yeah, I think there there is a button that actually changes. Yeah, the fuel is uh, is nasty. I added some fuel to it. This is seventy two, so. This is as old as me. It's well, yeah, but old. in 79, David Hines and Dan Yarborough uh, took the V12 coupe yep. version and, yes. and set the Cannonball world record. Now, that I didn't know, but I know there is a coupe version, and those are very rare, and I would love to own one of those. In fact, I have that exact have car. That really? Car somewhere. Yeah. So, this is act that, so, that car is the reason I bought this car was uh, I saw a, a video uh, out there on YouTube of a V12 coupe. And it just, it had my desire to want the closest thing to that, which was a sedan. And they didn't change much. I mean, I'm saying mine's a 79, and I and think the front is slightly different, yeah, but they're but, pretty close. And they're very rare. They only made, a, you know, a couple thousand of them. Mine so. is the rarest of them all. You know why? Because not only did it, did it set the Cannonball Royal record in 1979 that I finally broke in 2007 with my buddy Dennis, but it's the only cannonball record setting car that is not still owned by the, uh, the owner that set the record. Wow. Because That's, these guys, they, their parents had dealership, you know, mm -hmm. Yarbrough and Hines, and they grabbed the Jaguar. It was blue, like a light blue, like that flag. 
and they sprayed it black and took off and did the uh, the wow. cannonball and then chucked it back on the lot and sold it. Wow. <laughs> I found Jeez. it in the junkyard in Connecticut. Can't talk right now. I'm trying to do business. Um, this yeah. is cool. There's a difference between a run-of-the-mill XJ or XJ12 and a low mileage, 12,000 mile, best in the country. You should be a car salesman. You're really good at this. I don't want to sell this. I, I'm not selling it. I'm All not, right, I'll raise my bid to 15. No, no way. I, I paid more for this car. Why would I give it away for 15? No, for 15, you know what that buys me in the Porsche world? A set of wheels. I mean, this car is, <laughs> yeah, this, this is, uh, that I'm no, it I mean. How about, I don't even want to say it, 17. Ah, uh, no. What will you uh, sell it for? You're a car guy. Everything's well, for sale. I mean, really, if this car were to really sell on the open market and you, you market it properly and, you know, you change the fuel out, I mean, you're looking at probably 30 plus, for an nah. example. Like, oh, I've yeah. never seen one of these sell for 30. I'm telling you, the low mile, the best examples will always bring a premium. And uh, this one, you know, these cars are all junked out, too. I mean, there's there's hardly yeah, any original. I mean, all this stuff is original originals. And yeah, you know, look at the look at all the the, the, the the hose clamps. Everything is original. All these are still cloth yeah, covered. Yeah, and yeah. Jacked with. Mm -hmm. Those okay. are all the details. So uh, twenty grand. <sighs> Just because I like it and it's kooky colors in the seventies, and I've got a real big seventies kick going right now. Well, you know what my problem is is that I just I've driven it twice around the block, you know, in in a whole year, and you know. I know I've seen it sitting in here from I know, the doors open. I know. Twenty grand. <sighs> You know how I play. I play twenty grand cash. I'll do twenty one thousand. You got to come up just to you know. I'm and Richard for me. I I, I don't want right. to sell this car. I'll go twenty one, but you got to give me the nine eleven S deck lid. Oh. I just no. That's an original paint deck lid. You're never gonna find yeah, another. Yeah, but if anybody even needed it, it'd paint yeah, it. Yeah, but you'd find that off a car. I can't. Twenty one. Ha <laughs> ha. We got a deck lid uh, and a Jag. Get you some yeah. of that. Well. You know, you're getting the best, Richard. And uh, ding here too. Patina, character. Yeah. You know, you also got, you know, a ding or two. You know, that's uh, that's what happens when you're fifty. <laughs> oh, <I'm>, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm I mean, beat to hell, yeah. brother. I promise you. <laughs> There's more than a two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They asked me if I'd uh, if I donate my body to, for research when I got my license, and I said sure. And she goes, yeah, you, <laughs> you don't want. It. Yeah, you don't she want goes, your... we'll leave that box blank. <laughs> there won't be much yeah. left. Dude, yeah. I really like this. It's look at the interior, Chase. Yeah, that interior oh, is super seventy. One it owner looks like something out of the desert. Yeah, it's uh, it's very very unique. And I told you early nine twenty eight. I'm just are. worried about the dash. Yep. Well, uh, I tell you what, you can admire all you want, but this one is mine. This one is not going anywhere. But, I like uh, this better than my than my cabriolet out there, my nine six four thing. Well, uh, I, yeah, so what are you hinting at? What are you hinting let's at? Let's do some trading. What? The 964 for this? Well, yeah, and you give me a little cash. Oof. Now you're really pushing my buttons. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Richard, there's, there's no always another one out there. No, but you know what? Look at this, for example. You see the sealed beam headlight? It's the original CVA headlight. Both of them. That you just you know, there's all these details on this work? car. Let, let's pop the hood. Chase, can you pop the hood real quick? Is there yeah, a pop way to pop the hood? And turn the lights let me, on. Let, let's take a look at this. Uh, you know, turn the lights on. Let's admire. That's the part I love. You know, let's highlight a little. Hey, bit wait a minute! I thought Porsche's motors were in the back. Not this well, one. Well, <laughs> this one is a uh, this one is an oddball. And, this is uh, usually gone. Oh, oh, look at that! There's the and color. And that's the original that. color. Yeah, that's what happens if you oh, buff this car. Wow. Yeah, for a change. Mm-hmm. It's uh. But you know what? Like, notice this That's right here. Rad. All the, the 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 hose clamps, the original cadmium plating. If I have a flashlight, you can see. They're you know, real close to all being at. at uh, oh yeah, that's how they do it in the factory. Yeah, look at all these these clamps and how that's they're all. Just, attention to detail. So look at the all the hardware. Like it's all cadmium plated. Let's look at the the fuel hoses here. Do you Let's know see of anything in this compartment that's been messed with or replaced? Nothing. L look at that fuel line. That's the original braided, the German braided fuel lines. I mean, this is uh, completely original to the bone. So that's why this is a very very special early 928 example. Well, and uh, now you got me all with... horned up on it. Are we missing <laughs> a cover right there, or is it supposed to be gone? That's supposed uh, to be like open. It's supposed to be open. Yeah. Are you Are, sure? Mm -hmm. Is there any documentation with either one of these cars? Uh, yes, this one actually has everything going back from brand new. It has the original, 
you know, dealer service stamps and the original owner's name all written in there. In fact, it's Well, that's probably... like my 964 that I bought from you. Correct. I mean, yes. that thing has a stack of paperwork that big from the day it was bought here in Dallas. That's right. And, uh, you know, I, I try to focus any car that I buy, I want to buy original with documentation. God, and, I hate uh, the window tint. I want everybody to see the interior. Uh-huh. All right. So let's uh, see what all we have here. So would we, you? Would, it has a little chip in the windshield. Would you fix that, or would you just? I would. I would. It, replace, if, right? I would probably leave it the way it is. I, I would probably fill it in, but no, I would not replace that. That's all part of the character, you know. That's so it has all four keys: two valley keys, two regular keys. Oh, I look wow. at all these original keys, and uh, you know, and this this is the uh, the warranty and service booklet, and here you have the original uh, owner's name, Doctor Robert. Uh, weekly and then it has the, the dealer stamp right there in fort collins colorado look at that so ed carroll porsche audi in fort collins colorado which matches right here and you have you know all the right here are all the the service stamps that's and, wicked What's yeah, back when they had a service, service stamp book last time was serviced a long time ago so uh you know this car was uh what definitely a garage find from the old lady and uh you know, this car probably also, you know, fuel needs to be uh, probably gone through or drained. And, um, but it's a very special car. And uh, Let me look at something. Let me do a little uh, Dr. Googling. All right. Well, let's, uh, this is uh, very important for these cars. All the documentation here. And, uh, yep. And you can never, this never gets old right here. No. That, that's just, uh, that's, that's just perfect. as good as it gets. This one hasn't been garage kept like that one was. I can tell you. No, right this now. one was a, a true garage find. Right. And, uh, you know, this one, you're talking about upside potential. You know, when you take the tint off, you know, buff it, you know, put this car needs tires real bad. They're, they're old. But, uh, yeah, close it. There you go. Yeah. 78. I didn't have to push too hard. 79. It's way older than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yep. these things are worth more than I thought. That's crazy. They are. Uh, well, I was thinking that I'd give you the, the 91 that I got. Is well, that what that one is? I mean, you know I'm a 911 guy, but... Um, How about straight up? That's, that's me paying $41,000 for a 928. That's got to be a world record. So wait a minute, so the number is straight up for this and 21 for that in the lid. Well, we so, already did that deal. We're doing a separate deal. Yeah, oh, okay. you're killing me. It's like a dagger is just going well, deeper in me. You said these were your personal collection. Yes. And that's babies. the kind of day I'm having today. Yeah. I want to destroy personal oh, collections. It, it's just <laughs> going deeper in me. And I, you know, this is why it's parked here in the corner. I don't want to sell. This one is not for, it's not meant to be for it's sale. It's got a couple of discs, this is man. It that does. It's here that you really don't nope, want to sell. Nope. We're on yeah. this one. We got him talking. No, no. We got him talking. Um. Well... I mean, uh, you know, so what would, if you were to have that, what, what would you be your plans if you were I'd to pull the window tent, I'd okay, fix the driver's seat. Cause I think you just need to have it tucked just a little threaded bit, threaded a little bit and, uh, and, uh, and then see how well it buffs out, which I think is going to be perfect. Oh yes. I'd want to fix the two dents as far as pull them straight, but I would not paint. Yep. Well, you got the same idea that I would have. And then my only thing is how do I find these two dash pieces? Uh, you you buy a parts car for two two thousand dollars. <laughs> well, yeah, but your dash pieces are shot over there too. Yeah, so. I'll only buy another one. <laughs> yeah, come on, um, man, trade me. I know you like this car because you like it the same reasons that I like it. Okay. Because it's original. Look at this back end; it's all sexy. Baby yep. got back. It's a. This it's one a, will fit two grown men in it. <laughs> yeah. It's a spaceship. Quit teasing me. I already I already offered you a great deal. You know that's a fair deal. I mean, I paid you forty-one grand for that car, what, four, three or four months ago, five months ago, mm -hmm. and so that's forty-one grand for this. Yeah, no, that's a fair deal. But Richard, this is my own car, and I, you know, this, you know, the really special cars, I keep those because I know it's it's. You just sold me that one. And it's special. <laughs> you want me to undo the deal on that one? Nope, we already okay. should yeah, All right, all right, do that. all right. Well, you, you know, a um, car like this is, is uh, you know, you're just- I gotta have it though, the, the color in the interior. I've never even seen this color on one of these. Mm -hmm. This color is called cashmere beige, really rare. They had them on the turbo. Uh, and it was really rare on the turbo too. This is gonna buff out. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm already This screams in 1970s. It's, uh, all right, yeah. uh, my car in five grand. I'm just, oh, I'm feeling seriously? crazy. Oh, no. I know, right? It's too cool. God, I'm a car guy. 
Chase, we're in the wrong business. I know. <sighs> oh, I'm losing money now, but I want the call. Remember really back when you could buy these for like <laughs> eight grand? grand? I've had these offered to me. <laughs> they'll just come get it out of right, their backyard. Right. Yep. And now they're worth. And money. now they're just through the roof. Uh, wow. Well, you got to get a good one like this. I mean, that is more than fair. Richard, I, I appreciate the offer, but I, I just can't. I can't let it go. I mean, you gonna turn that down? It's so special. How many beers did you bring? A lot. Oh, <laughs> more? Hey, there's eight of them. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we need it. Have another beer, and then we'll we'll discuss further. But, <laughs> Dad, gum it, dude. I really dig it. Mm -hmm. You're showing your poker face right, right now. Richard. I already showed my whole hand. I just offered him my car and five Gs. <laughs> It's not like I'm gonna... You know, Richard, it's the, uh, it's the Porsche world, man. But, you know, when you have the car, you're the boss. And, uh, you know, I just, I know that you can't replace a car like this. Uh, I'm gonna throw the other thing in there. If you get rid of these two cars, now you can put two more cars in here, though. Two more 911s like you like. You there don't you like go. these stupid things. It gives you room. Trust me. It gives you space. Over the past, uh, over the past few minutes, this has been going through my mind. I mean, another 911 is not a, is not a bad thing for and me. five grand. I've done every pitch I can. And I overpaid for that car anyways. <sighs> Not really now, did I? I think it's gone up. Yeah, it's gone up. Yeah, I, I'm talking about all these cars are going up. I mean, uh, they're... Oh, wait, well, this is, uh, yeah. is Barrett-Jackson week, too, so all the big sales. That, that, mm -hmm. I got to get this. All right, 10 grand. Are oh. you serious? <laughs> Jesus Christ. If I wait till the end of the week, who knows what's going to happen in all these sales? All right. Richard, we got a deal. All right! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's Sean. Uh, give me my deck lid. Uh, yes, take sir. the deck lid. Just take rad, this man. Meter thing. Chase, what's that? I think it's super rad, dude. I I, I, I want to see buff, it. I want to buff it so bad. I want to see it buffed. I want to pull these before we buff it. This one's gonna That's be a little hairy, hairy just because it's. I think it's you go so tappy rip. tap because you got that new system that Clico, right? Is what yeah, it calls. Yeah, Kiko. 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 And, and uh, I want to see how that works on this. Is that like a PDR sort of thing? Or Dude, what? you will freak out. It can really? fix anything, and it doesn't mess with the paint. So what is it? Is it like glue or weld on? It glues. It glues. Yeah, it glues. It's, it's almost like, um, uh, you know the old spot, the studs, the weld studs you weld yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But and like, so could, this like one's aluminum, hammer. so this, this one you would glue on, and then you, wow. you hammer it out. It's pretty cool. You'll, it's you'll see rough. it when we get done. Wow. Chase will have this thing buffed and, and the dents out of it. By quitting time. You promised to Which give me. Which brother likes the fact that I've already had some beers now for me. Now, uh, would you promise to give me a ride when this car is all clean and buffed yeah. and serviced? And uh, so later today. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty fast over there, man. I'm good, good, but I'm not. I don't know if I'm that good. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but definitely pull those before we buff. Yeah. And we just tap them in because you got a story there, and I would leave it. Right. All right, man. Um, Chase and Sean, you got my deck lid. Let's figure it out. Let's get them moved over there. Now I got a golf right. cart to drive back across the street. All right, okay. time to uh, shuffle some cars out. Hey man, thanks for the business. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll uh, swing by Daphne. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paid you? No, because she was, she was. Hey, yeah. an agreement is good <laughs> yeah. with me, right? <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right, so Richard tasked me with getting these dents out of the front. Uh, I guess these would be the fenders. Um, we're gonna try and use the Kiko system to pop that aluminum back up. It's gonna pull some of the paint just because it is already flaked off, but we're just trying to get it to its original form or really close to it. We know it's ripped, we know it's cracked and it, it's bad, but we're gonna try and get it as close as we can and hopefully we get there. Then we're gonna clean it up and buff it and hopefully the car looks like brand new when we're done. Let's get after it. So 
see how here it's ripping as I'm hitting here. I'm not even hitting this piece and it's already folding, so I don't know how well the system will pull just this damage. This damage would be, this damage may be too much for that system. We're gonna try it anyway. Can't hurt it anymore, are you? It's the way, it's the spot. It's a strong spot and it's- You can't get right there? I mean, if you get to a point where you're gonna cut it or it's gonna, gonna rip, then we don't want to. I know it. that that one. Can't I, put that little bitty puller right there. We try. It doesn't have enough pull. We can put a big pull on it, a big glue tab, and you can't get underneath it. I just that's what I was trying to do. You'll, the fender has to come off, but I don't want to ruin this. No, I don't want anything off. No, I don't want to ruin this. This, I think you have to dig it up a little bit, fold that in. But as I'm digging it up, it's ripping. Oh, I'm, is that what I, all that is? Yeah. We're trying. Just it's in a tough spot. Well, if that one's as good as you want it, then leave it. All right. Well, this makes us nervous to watch. So call me when you're done. Okay. Maybe I want to watch. That. I don't know. Uh, so we tried. They're just in really tough spots. This one's ripping as we move it. So we're not going to touch this one anymore. Make it any worse than it already is. And this one we pulled a little bit, but it's right at just a point where that's just, this system is just not enough force to pull it for how small of a tab we need. If it was a large area, we'd be able to pull this no problem, but it's just so skinny and strong of an area, it's not gonna move. But we're gonna get it shiny and make it pretty, other than these two spots, it'll be a cool car. So it's all polished up. I don't know what Richard wants to do with it, so I would stay tuned. I'm sure we're gonna do something crazy with it like we always do. But it looks good. <laughs> <laughs>